So here we have a simple sales report and I've got sales by month and year. But is this sales ordered or sales shipped or sales invoiced for? I don't know. I have to go to the data model and then I have to hover over this line. And I can see that my calendar is linked up to order date. So that analysis is all for order date. Okay, but what if I also want to analyze ship date? Because there may be quite a difference between items ordered and items shipped. You have to use the use relationship function inside a DAX formula, and I'll show you how. Let's go. Step one, hook up ship date to date. Okay. And you'll be prompted with this pop-up box and then you'll get a dotted line. This is the inactive relationship, okay? You can only have one active relationship. That'll be the default. So if you don't write any fancy DAX, you'll always end up filtering the order date, okay? But I, for some calculations, for some charts, want to use the inactive relationship, okay? So how do I force the date filters to go down this dotted line and filter shipping date? Well, I write a measure. So new measure. Let's call this sales shipped equals, I'm just doing a shift enter to make the formula split on different lines. I want to change the filter. So I'm going to write calculate, which is the change filter function, shift enter. I've already got a sales measure. So I'm going to use that shift enter. And this is the magic bit, use relationship. Okay. So there's the use relationship function. Calendar date is one end of the dotted line and the other end of the dotted line is ship date. Close the bracket, shift enter, close the bracket. Okay. Okay. I was accidentally selected my calendar when I did this. So I'm just going to drag this into the my measures table. So there's sales shipped and I can go over to my report now and I can simply click on this chart and go up to sales shipped, give that a tick. And look, if I go full screen with this, you can see the differences. Okay, they're small, but we're filtering for July of this year. If we go down the solid line and filter the date ordered column, we get that value. If we go down the dotted line and filter the shipped date column, we get this line. So even within the same chart, let alone the same page or the same report, you can now do analysis for both items. So every date field you have, okay, you can link as many of these inactive relationships as you want, and you simply write a different measure for each time you want to use a different dotted line. The dotted line does nothing on its own. Use relationship does not work unless you have the dotted line as well. So they've got to be used as a couple. All right, hope you find that useful. Let me know what you think, and I'll catch you in the next video. Before you go, check out one of my other videos or playlists and click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.